that way. Croissant. Grand Dojasses, I think it's called on the left, which curves around to Mont Blanc on the right. Hello, Wendy. Chamonix.
top of the Frata. We'll see how these ones go. 2,800 meters. We found water. As usual, I'm a brilliant planner and I pack one liter of water to go to uh, almost 3,000 meters. Brilliant, yeah. I should start a strategic consulting service. This is Peter, showing us where so he wants to climb. I'm interested in the mountain behind us. Hello, Wendy. Hello, how are you? Not too bad. Quite a view up here. It's an incredible view. Two thousand five hundred and fifty meters. This is as far as we're going today because the weather is moving in and the rain is coming in over the ridge ahead, which is practically where the summit is, just a couple of hundred meters higher. Farewell. Sun's coming out, might go further. Clouds blowing in from below, quite spectacular. Wendy's ready, head back, so I'll, uh, I'm at about 2,700 meters, I'll head back down to summits just 100 meters above. Twenty-five, eighty-five meters, picking up abandoned gear that we left behind. From the hut, easy walk out directly on roads the whole way. Just came from the ridge immediately behind us. That way. Bird. I wonder if I can catch Wendy. I sorry. caught Wendy. Hello, Wendy. Hello, sorry, was I... You weren't trying to film me, were you? No, just now I was filming you, yes. I just threw myself into the fire. Mm, yes, it was, it was very photogenic. So we're at the, uh, I guess the left side of the, the ridge there. The peak there is just above 2800 and we were, uh, I went to about 2700 and Wendy was just slightly below that. Sure thing, we'll go that way. Back down at the station, 2360 meters. We were there somewhere in the middle at 27. The weather is much better now than I anticipated, so would have been perfectly okay to go a bit further, but that's life. And up here, there is a road, which means we can power down, be back in the valley or hamburger and chips. We're returning back via this way, which is quite indirect, but it goes up over the hole and then back over the other side and then down ultimately to Chamonix.
the sun shall lead us home. It is the way of the Prophet Muhammad. Up there is a pass that we need to go over, a coal, and uh, then it descends down on the other side. the coal. That's the uh, valley that we came from. And that's the valley that we exit from that goes back down to Chamonix. Snow crossings and then back down into the valley. Estimated to be there in a couple of hours. elected not to take a dunk in the highest altitude lake you can find today. You filming? Mm -hmm. We're being followed by goats. 2,400 meters. We've got very sharp horns so we're a little bit nervous. The one on the left looks a bit ferocious. In all fairness it probably throws off the edge here. Yeah. Look at that glint in his eye. They're very tiny. He's planning something. Bah. Bypassed us. We're, we're actually being surrounded. Oh, he's pissing. No, but look, that, that guy out there, that, 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 looks, that looks like Alpha Oh, it's a baby goat. See, they're coming right, right at we're, us. We're being surrounded on all sides by goats. Are you sure they don't eat meat? I told you they were coming for us. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And we've passed the pass and on the way back down to Chamonix in the valley below. Got about, uh, what? Two hours. Two hours and more than 1,000 vertical meters. Closer to 12 or 1,300, I guess. Shortly after 8 p.m., we're just about to hit the main road, and from there, it should be very quick, down to Chamonix. Sun is just about to set, but we have headlamps. We're back down at 2,000 meters where the ski lifts are. We just came from the pass up between those mountains up there. And now 1,000 meters more to descend down to Chamonix. It should be fairly direct at this point. We've just arrived back in Chamonix. It's 11 p.m. We left at 8 o'clock this morning. It took a bit longer than expected to get back. So we are finally here. <laughs> Peter's a little tired. Yes, a little bit is an understatement. But Wendy's in good spirits. Yeah, as always. Congratulations, Wendy. <laughs> We're now going to have hamburgers. 